Hello, hello. Okay, morning. Okay, welcome to your language class. Yes? Morning. Okay. Morning. Be ready with your book. Yeah, page number 63. Hello. Good morning. Okay. Morning. Okay, page number. Morning. morning. Page number 63. Yes? Okay, 63. Buenos días, Miss. Morning. Okay, open your language book on page number 63. Yes? Okay, I'll show you uh, on your screen. Yes? Okay, is this part. Let's check. In this case, we study a T chart. Okay, what is a T chart? This one is, um, let me see, an organizer. And in that part, okay, this one help you for putting your ideas or writing your ideas before you write a paragraph, okay? Imagine that we have a paragraph, that's mean a story. And you can organize the main idea of this paragraph so you can use this one, a T-shirt. Why we call T-shirt, okay? If you see the lines in red, this one is similar to the letter T, yes? Okay, for example, I show you that part, yeah? If you see these lines, okay, this one forms the letter T. For that reason, we call T chart, yes? Okay, and what are we doing in that part? Okay, so you follow my instructions or my directions and you write the different sentences in that part. For example, the instruction says, follow your teacher's directions to complete the chart. In that case, we choose a topic. Okay, the topic in this part is, let me see, prairie dog. Okay, so this one is the topic that we use today. Prairie dog. What are, uh, what are prairie dogs? Okay, these one are dogs that take care of sheep, uh, let me see, cows, etc. Prairie dogs, okay? Perros pastores, yes? Okay, this one is the definition. So this one is the topic. So you follow my instruction and you write in the space that you have, yes? Okay, va a ir siguiendo mis indicaciones y les va a ir escribiendo en el lugar donde yo le indique. ¿De acuerdo? Okay, let's start. First one, you write the topic, pretty dog, yeah? Okay, this information you have on page 63. Okay, page 63. Okay, let's see, pretty dog. What is the main idea that we use, okay, of pretty dog? Let's see. In that case, okay, we use the first idea that is the appearance, yes? Okay, we use this one, appearance. Okay, the appearance. Okay, that's mean a description about the body. What is the appearance of a pretty dog? For example, ¿Cómo son los, los perros pastores? Okay, do you have an idea? What is the appearance? In that case, we talk about physical appearance. Okay, apariencia física. ¿Cómo son ellos? Do you have an idea? Okay, white and black. Yes. Okay, okay they are big. Okay, so let's see. Let's write in that part. Okay, for example, they are four. So we write here, they are four. That's mean with a lot of hair, con mucho cabello. Okay, and black tails. Okay, let's write this one in that part. They are four with black tails. Yes, this one is our first idea, okay? 
the second idea. Okay, you say that they are big. Yes, okay. They are big. And also tall. And with long clothes. Okay. Con grandes garras. Yes. Okay. So let's see. This one are the first two ideas. Okay. The first idea is the appearance. Okay. Physical appearance. So we have, they are four with black tails. They are big tall and with long clothes, yes? So let's write this one. I did it. Okay, excellent. Let's wait because other classmates are writing right now. I finished. Okay, if you finish, only raise your hand. Ok, si usted ya terminó, solo colóqueme la reacción de la manita levantada. Ok. Excelente. Ok, let me see, I have one, two, three, four. Let's see, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven students are finished right now. What happened with others? Okay, nine. Ten. Okay, 11. Okay, so let's see, 12. 12 students are finished right now, yeah? Okay, excellent. So let's see, now, let's continue, yes? Okay, that's good. Okay, excellent. Let me clear this part. We continue with the second one. Okay, so first one we discuss about the appearance. Yes? Okay, what is our second idea? In that case, we talk about the place where they live. Okay, so that's mean the habitat, yeah? Habitat, this one is the place where they live. For example, okay, they live, they live in the United States. Yes, they are American. <laughs> okay, they live in the United States and also, and okay, it's not a complete sentence. Let me see. So they live in the United States, yes? Okay, this one is the first idea. Second idea, they live in a tunnel, yes? Okay, and underground, bajo tierra, yes? underground okay this one is our second idea okay they live in the united states they live in a tunnel and underground okay what is your question Okay, remember, we talk about one specific animal. Okay, in that case, our prairie dog. Estamos, okay, hablando de un animal en específico. See, ¿Sí? okay, they live in the United States and they live in a tunnel and underground. 
Okay, a ellos les gusta vivir así. Yes? Okay. So let's see. In first one, we talk about the appearance. Yes, physical appearance. Second one, we talk about the place where they live. Okay. Luego hablamos acerca del lugar donde les gusta vivir. Okay. So let's see. And the last one is the behavior. Okay. El comportamiento. What do you think is the behavior? <laughs> okay, naughty. Naughty. Okay. Naughty. Travieso. Okay, they are naughty. Yes. Let's see. So they are naughty. Yeah. This one. Okay, they are naughty. Ellos son traviesos. Yes. What else? Why? Mm. Curiosos. Okay, they are curious. Yes. They are curious. And also, okay. Eat grass and seeds. Okay, let's see. Eat grass and seeds. Excellent. Okay, so let's see. Turn up your microphone, please. Apagamos micrófono, por favor. Okay. Okay. Apagamos micrófono. Vamos a ver. Hay un micrófono encendido. Necesito que lo apague. Ok, gracias. Bien. Nuevamente vamos a volver a que yo lo voy a silenciar y solamente lo voy a activar cuando tenga su participación. Ok, porque ya se nos olvidó que tenemos que levantar la mano para participar. Ok, so let's see. The behavior, they are naughty. Okay, travieso. This one is in Spanish, yes? Naughty. For example, your dog is naughty, yes? Okay. A rabbit is naughty because they eat a lot of plants. Los conejos son traviesos porque les gusta comerse las plantas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Mateo Salmerón. Okay. Ah, the raccoons. Yes. Okay, the raccoons too. Mapaches. Okay. Hamster. Yes, they are naughty too. Ah, you don't have a dog. Okay. And do you think that cats are naughty? ¿Usted piensa que los gatos son traviesos? Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. So you have a cat. Yes, remember the cats. Okay, jump. The cats climb. Okay, specifically on Christmas. Okay, if you have a Christmas tree, okay, the cats climb the trees. Yes. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Okay, that's good. So let's see. If you see, this one is a T shirt. Okay. Un cuadro en forma de T. So we write some ideas and we describe. In, the, in my case, this one is the left, okay? En el lado izquierdo, en mi caso, como yo veo la pantalla del lado izquierdo, okay, we have the ideas. And in the right, okay, we have complete sentences, yes? Tenemos ideas completas. Okay, so this one is the meaning of a T-shirt. Okay, Jimena Enriquez, okay. Activate your sound. I have a question. Okay, what is your question? Um, in, in the previous one, in the first one, I told <laughs> not the United States who's USA because or is not, is not I 
am not going to pay. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. They live in the United States. Okay. So you know you can know what is the meaning of USA, or if it's possible that you write in, in abbreviated form. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so you can write in the abbreviated for, abbreviated for, for example, U period S period A period. Yes, because you don't have enough space. Yes, it's possible. So you write in an abbreviation, United States of America. Yeah, this one is the meaning of that. United States of America. Yes, if you don't have enough time, enough space, so you can write in that form, yeah? Okay, that's good. Okay. So let's see. Did you finish? Okay, excellent. Yes, okay, that's good. Let me check. Okay, may I continue? Podemos continuar? Yes. Okay, that's good, excellent. So let's see. Okay, let me clear this part, yes? Okay, now next one. So this one is on page 64, yes? In the blank, you write the letter of the sentence which has correct punctuation. Okay, that's mean we analyze every sentence, yes? And we choose what is the letter that is the sentence that is correct, yeah? We have two options, A or B, okay? Oak, maple, cherry, and ash trees lose their leaves in the winter. Oak, maple, cherry, and ash trees lose their leaves in the winters. What is the correct answer, A or B? Okay, if you have the answer, raise your hand. Si usted tiene la respuesta, levante la mano. A or B? Okay, Alejandro. Um, is Um, B. B, okay. So this one is letter B, exactly. Remember, we use a comma for separate a series of things. In that case, we have a series of threes. Oak, maple, cherry, ash. Yes, all of these ones are kind of trees. So we separate by the comma. For that reason, this one is the correct sentence. Number two. Johnston, South Carolina is known for its fishes. What is the correct answer, Gabriel? Okay, A or B? Okay, so let's see. In that case, thank you, Gabriel. In number two, the best option is the option A. Why? Because remember, we separate by the comma, the city and the state, yeah? Johnston, comma, South Carolina, comma, is known for its fishes. Yes, this one is the best answer. Number three, Dr. and Mrs. C.R. Jones went to Arizona for a vacation. Okay, what is the best answer in that case? A or B? What is the correct sentence? Okay, Alison, number three. What do you think? A or B?
B. B. Okay. So let's see. B. Yes, because remember, we have different abbreviations. Doctor, period. Mrs., period. C, period. R, period. Okay. And remember, according to the rule, you place a period, okay, when you write abbreviations. Number four, David, did you see me last night at the ball game? What is the best option, A or B? A or B? Okay, Jimena. Jimena Enriquez, what is the best option, A or B? B. Okay, B, exactly. You separate the name by the comma, yes? Okay, excellent. Number five, Molly, Carrie, and Anne are coming to visit you. In that case, okay, the best option is the letter, I am sorry, is the letter A, exactly. Okay, Molly, Case, and Anne are coming to visit you. Okay, because this one is a series of proper nouns. For that reason, we separate by a comma. Molly, comma, Carrie, comma, and Anne are coming to visit you. Yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see. Okay, Mateo Estrada, did you finish? Yes, okay. Okay, let me see. Let me clear this part and we continue, yeah? Okay, so rewrite the following words and sentences, adding necessary commas and periods. Yes? Okay, so we rewrite. That's me write one more time. Remember, okay? Sacramento is a city, so we separate by a comma, and then we write the states, that is California. Yes? Okay, so we rewrite in the space that you have, Sacramento, comma, California, yes? Okay. Then we have D.L. Moody was a great preacher. Okay, D, period, L, period, okay, Moody was a great Pretty sure, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. So let's see. The El Moody was a great preacher. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next one, okay, mister, this one is an abbreviation, so we write a period, mister Samuel W period Lydic, yes? Okay, mister Samuel W period Lydic. Okay, remember, we write with the correct period, comma, etc. Okay, let's continue. Number four. It is called in Fairbanks. This one is a city. So we write a comma, we separate of the state, Alaska. Yes? Okay. I doesn't appear the complete sentence. So let me write here, yes? Okay. It is called in Fairbanks, comma, Alaska, period, yes? Okay. Okay, next one. Stephen, come here. Okay, so in that case, 
This one is the name of a person. Maybe it's a boy. Stephen, comma, okay, come here. Yes. We write an exclamation point at the end. Yes. Okay, then we have read pages three, five, and eight. In that case, it's a series of numbers. So we write three, comma, five, comma, and eight. Yes, and period at the end. And the last one, no, I am not six years old. Remember, we write a comma, okay, before or after the word no. Yes, I am not six years old. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So I give you some minutes, yes? Because you need to finish this part. Okay, thank you, Alison. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so let's see. When you finish, you tell me, yeah? Okay, Alison, you finish, Jimena finish. Excellent, so I have two students that have already finished. Okay, excellent. Okay, Jimena, Luisa, Mateo Salmeron, Gabriel, Ariana, Aaron, okay, that's good. Tani Navas, excellent. Okay, let's wait. Two more minutes and then we continue, yes? Okay. Okay, thank you, Alejandro. Okay, so let's see. One minute and we continue, yes? Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's see. Okay, Christopher, you did it, yes? Okay, excellent. Okay, Rudy, you did it. Okay, let me see. Okay, that's good. So let's continue, yes? Okay, excellent. So now, page 65. Okay, let's review a topic sentence. What is a topic sentence? In that case, a topic sentence is a complete sentence that tells what the paragraph is about. Okay, so imagine a story. You have a paragraph, you have a story, and you need to identify what is a topic sentence. That's mean, okay, this one is the topic that are referring to the, all the story. And also you have the main idea of the paragraph. Okay, that's mean the main idea describe or explain or prove what is the topic sentence. Yes, okay, let's read this information. A topic sentence is a complete sentence that tells what the paragraph is about. It is the main idea of the paragraph. The paragraph will describe explain or prove the topic sentence. For example, Kangaroo National Park is in South Carolina. Okay, so this one is a topic sentence. This one is a main idea, yes? Okay, better fish make wonderful pets. Homemade applause 
okay? It's easy to make. All of these one are topic sentences. All of these one are main ideas, yes? Okay, so right now we read the following paragraph and we write a topic sentence to tell what each paragraph is about, yes? Okay, Aaron, help me please. And you read this first paragraph. Number one. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Aaron. First roll, a large ball of snow. Roll a medium ball and place it on the large ball. Roll a small ball on a place it on the medium ball. Use stones, old clothes, and maybe a car, a carrot to decorate. Enjoy, enjoy your new friend. Okay, excellent. So let's see. This one, is, let me see, is a paragraph of instruction. Yes. Okay. First, you roll a large ball of snow. Okay. Second, you roll a medium ball of snow, and at the end, okay, you roll a Okay, a small ball of snow. Then you place first one the big, then the medium, and the last one is the small. You use different stones, you use, can use clothes, you use a carrot, and you enjoy the new friends. Okay, what is this one? What is your idea? Okay. What is the paragraph about? De qué habla el párrafo? Okay, give me a topic. Deme un tema o una idea para ponerle a este párrafo. What is that? This one is made of snow. Okay. You create three different bolts. Large, small, and medium. Yes. You use clothes. You use a carrot. Maybe you use a scarf. And this one is your friend. And you develop this one specifically in winter, yeah? When it is snowing. ¿Qué tema le podemos poner a este par? Okay. Okay, let's check. I give you the participation, yes? Okay, Luisa Chinchilla, give me your idea. Um, what do you think is that? Um, okay. Alison Presa says fun winter. Yes. Okay. But we create a specific, um, let me see. In that case, it's not a person, it's not an animal. This one is an object. Okay, Gabriel, what is your idea? Um, how to make a snowman. Exactly, okay. okay. How to make a, a snowman. Yes, okay, this one is the topic. How to make a snowman. Como hacer un muñeco de nieve, okay? First, you create a large ball of snow. The second step, and you roll a medium ball of snow. Then a small ball, and you place clothes. Yeah, how to make a snowman. This one is the main idea or the topic, yes? Okay, so you're writing this one in line number one. How to make a snowman. Excellent. Okay, this one is the paragraph about how to make a snowman. Okay, that's good. So let's see, number two. Let's discover the second one. Okay, a starfish is not really a fish, even though many are quite small. Some can be as heavy as 11 pounds. A starfish can regrow an arm if it loses one. A starfish eat their food with their stomachs outside of their bodies. A starfish can only live in salt water, like the ocean. Starfish are interesting and beautiful. Okay, what topic can we write to this paragraph? ¿Qué tema le podemos poner? 
We talk about one specific animal. What is this one? A starfish, yes? Okay, a starfish is not really a fish, even though many are quite small. Some can be as heavy as 11 pounds. A starfish can reroll an arm and it closes one. A starfish eat food, okay? So we talk about, okay. Alejandro Romero, what is your idea? Uh, good morning. Good morning. Um, the starfish. No. The starfish are beautiful. Okay, it's about starfish. Yes. Okay, so we can say first one, interesting. Okay, then. Okay, and beautiful, exactly. Interesting and beautiful a starfish. Yes, we can write this one. Yes, okay. Interesting and beautiful, okay, a starfish. Yes, and this one is our topic. Yeah? Okay. Okay. <coughs> thank you. Okay, thank you, Alejandro. Interesting and beautiful a starfish. Yes? Okay. Ah, okay. In the first one, we write how can we make questions. Okay, a starman. Tell me, Christopher. Yo no alcancé a copiar la primera. Okay, I write in that part. Se la voy a escribir aquí. How to make a snowman? Yes. This one is the first one, number one. Okay, how to make a snowman? In the second one, interesting and beautiful starfish. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, now let's continue. Yes, because it's missing one. Okay, number three. I would take good care of a puppy. A puppy can be a good friend. I would feed it regularly and even clean up after it. I would not be unkind to it or tease it. I would be responsible and take it for walks. I would teach it to obey me and to do tricks. Dogs make great pets for families. Okay, what do you think is the topic? Okay, Mateo Estrada. A good puppy. Okay, a good puppy, yes. I would take good care of a puppy. A puppy can be a good friend. I would feed it regularly and even clean up, clean up after it. Okay, so let's see. A good puppy, yes. Okay. Or a good friend. Okay, a good friend. Ah, okay. Take care of a good friend. Yeah. Cuidar a un buen amigo. Yes. Okay. So let's see. In that case. Okay. And this one is the last topic. Yeah. Okay, if you see, we can read some paragraph. Okay, and we understand what the paragraph is about and we can choose a topic, yeah? Okay, leemos un párrafo y entendemos de qué estamos hablando. Y podemos, okay, digamos escribir o identificar cuál es el tema principal de ese párrafo. Así como lo hicimos ahorita, okay, que leímos los tres párrafos e identificamos cuáles son los temas principales. Okay, excelente, muy bien. Ok, perfecto. Recuerde mandar evidencias, sí, de las páginas que hemos trabajado ahora. Trabajamos páginas 63, páginas 64 y páginas 65, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, chicos, llegamos al final de nuestra clase. Los quiero mucho, cuídense y nos vemos el día de mañana, primero Dios, en nuestras próximas clases. Disfrute el resto de la tarde y disfrute su almuerzo. Ok, excelente, bye bye. Bendiciones, un abrazo. Bye.